Evan, it's always really helpful for people to send in yes. photos and videos if you can safely do so. I got hundreds of pictures and videos of damage, flooding, and hail. So tonight, using what you captured, let me show you what these storms look like across the state of Oklahoma. We start in the Yukon OKC area. Haley Hartman sent us this flooding video of the field next to her family's home off Wilshire and County Line. Another flooded neighborhood from Sarah Ryan at Northwest 178th and Western. And the flooding stretched across the state today. Kim Stewart sending us this picture in from Stroud. We also received tons of hail pictures. Ashley seeing massive hail baseball to softball size in Chickasha. And Kevin showed us several hailstones in Verdon, Oklahoma. You can see he has them placed next to a baseball and a softball. And Jill's backyard deck covered with hailstones in Yukon. Cindy sending this picture, large hail in Noble. Deacon Stevens sending this one in from Oak Archie. And Kit Watts capturing these two funnels in Ripley. And Rhonda sent me this one. Four adults, a toddler, a 75-pound golden doodle, and a schnauzer, all seeking shelter in Enid by Vance Air Force Base. Some deciding to take advantage of the rain. Quinn in Enid, along with his monster trucks, enjoying some time in the puddles. And we end with this shot from Garrett Fleetwood in Chickasha. A double rainbow across the town the calm after the storm. And I did want to point out that these storms have lasted all day. Starting this morning, lightning struck an oil field tank battery not far from the state capitol. Look at these flames. I can tell you nobody was hurt, and OKC fire crews were able to get this fire under control pretty quickly.